Hi, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Deidre Jordan, and today the focus of our workout is free weights. So we are going to get started with a little bit of a warm up. And this is not a fast paced workout today. It's all about free weights, slow moving, actively using our body parts, okay? So let's get into a nice wide stance. And you're gonna dip one shoulder down towards the opposite knee. And then the other, tuck your hips back. And let's do that one more time each side. Pull that shoulder down. And again, other way. So we're gonna keep our wide stance now. And we're going to, if you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's fine. I want you to reach down to that left leg. Try to get to your shoe. And again, tuck the hips back. Feel the stretch down the back of the leg through the hamstring. If you can't go that far, that's fine. Just reach to what you can safely. Now we're gonna walk our hands over to the other side. And just hinging forward, nice deep breaths. And now, I'd like you to bend both knees, and we're gonna to try to walk our feet together a little bit. Now, try to raise those hips up to the ceiling, straighten out the legs as best you can. And now let's bend the knees again and roll up very slowly. And take a nice deep breath in, reach up, exhale, sweep the arms down. One more time, nice big breath in, and exhale to sweep the arms down. So our first move before we get to chest is also part of our warm up. You don't have to use weights for this one, and if you do, you want very light weights. So it's gonna be a side to side lunge with a shoulder press in between. And we're gonna go for 10 each side. So get ready to bend your left knee and straighten the right leg. Reach the weights down towards your foot. We'll pause in the middle to do a shoulder press. All right, here we go. So side, press, and switch. Side, there's one. 10 each side, two. Tuck the hips back, three. Four, maybe with each one, you can get the hips down a little bit more. Breathe nice and deep. We're gonna do four more each side starting now. One. One knee is bent, one leg is straight. Two. Three. And one more time each side. So getting the heart rate up a little bit here. All right. We're going to move on. Starting with a flat bench chest press, followed by a pullover. So let's get to the chest press first. You can certainly do these on the floor. As you get set up, you want your knees bent and your feet down to protect the low back. We're gonna go for 15 repetitions here. And again, this is not a fast paced workout from here on out. So palms are facing away from me. Exhale as you push up to actively tighten the chest. This is five right here. We're gonna see if we can get 10 more. Pull your belly button down to the floor without holding your breath. Exhale, push up. We have seven to go. Five more. Three, two, and one more. All right, come up carefully to set one weight down. For a pullover, you want your head near the top of your bench. We're going to be holding one end of the weight like so. Arms are relatively straight, but not straight, as you very carefully lower the weight behind your head. And then we're going to pull up to actively tighten the chest again. We go for 15 reps. Okay, so inhale, take the weight back. Exhale, stop right about here to tighten the chest. Two, three, four, so don't rush it. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, so elbows are soft. You don't want straight arms for this one. Last five here, one, two, three, four, and five. All right, again, come up slowly and carefully. Now we're gonna move from the front of the body to the back of the body for a bent over row. If you don't have a bench, you can simply get into a uh, standard stance for that. But I'm gonna kneel on my bench here and prop myself up with the other hand, reaching that weight slightly out in front of me, not straight down. And without shrugging, let's do a bent over row. One, two, three. Pull that elbow in close to the rib cage as you come up. Five, six. Now your belly button's up towards the ceiling or your spine. Eight, nine. We want to retract and depress the shoulder blade. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, anywhere you need to take a break, grab some water, just pause the video, and then start back up again. Then get to the other side, bend over row. Here we go. One, two, three, four. If you're not able to pause up at the, towards the armpit, then you want a lighter weight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, five more here. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. Okay, so now we're going to move to a lower body movement. Deadlifts uh, with the hamstrings. You'll feel the back of the uh, legs and the low back as well. For deadlifts, it's not a squat. Our knees are soft, not locked. But after that, if you're not moving the legs, we're just gonna hinge forward at the waist. So it's gonna look like this, with a nice flat back, hinge forward at the waist, grazing the front of my legs with my waist, and then stand all the way up nice and tall, okay? So soft knees, flat back, 15 reps, here we go. One, inhale, hinge forward. Two, three, check in with your knees every once in a while so they're not locked. You don't want to hyperextend. Starting five, six. So I'm not using any momentum here, purposely stopping to get the full effect. So you should be feeling that good stretch in the hamstrings about now. Let's go for five more. Almost there. Two to go. Push up through your heels even though your feet are flat. One more. All right, deadlifts. I'm gonna grab a slightly lighter weight now. This is a shoulder, shoulder move. Kind of a squat, but not really. It's a clean and press. So we're gonna get into a stance a little bit wider than shoulders. We're gonna go into that kind of a half squat. Get the weight to your shoulder and then push up into a shoulder press. So you see how I've kind of bending the knees a little bit to help get that weight up in the air so my bicep ends up by my ear. Let's try that for 15. Here we go. Down, here, one. Make sure you tuck your hips back. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And here again, even though our feet are flat, push up through the heels. Seven. Eight. 
nine, 10. So this will raise the heart rate a little bit, moving multiple joints. We've got four more here before we switch. One, two, three, and one more. All right, we're gonna bring it down. Take about 10 seconds. If you don't have any free weights, think about investing in some. Order them now, because I know they're taking a while to get. But as you build more muscle, if losing weight is your goal, muscle burns more fat than fat. So really good if you can add in the free weight workouts. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Check that that bicep is ending up by your ear. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we've got our last five right here. One, come up nice and strong here. Two, three, four. And last one, 415. Way to go, grab water if you need it. We're gonna move on to biceps. Two moves for the biceps. The first one is nice because it isolates the bicep and there's no question of which body part you're working. So you can be seated in a chair or on a stability ball. I'm just gonna use my bench here. As we get started, I want the back of my arm literally against my inner thigh the whole time. So my elbow is below my thigh. I'm not up here working from my elbow, okay? So wide stance, get the back of the arm against the inner thigh, and we're gonna go for 10 right here. One, two, so you don't wanna go too heavy with this one either, three, and if it gets too heavy, you can always use that free hand to kind of help it on up. But control the weight going up and back down. We've got four more here. One, two, three, and four. So definitely feeling the burn with that one. Let's get to the other side. And then, as I said, we do have a second one for biceps. Here we go. Elbows below the thigh. One. Two, three, four. Exhale as you curl up. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, concentration curls. Next one for biceps, alternating hammer curl. Hammer just means you're holding it like you would a hammer. So let's soften the knees in a fairly narrow stance. Chest up nice and high. Here we go. One, two, so I'm engaging my core and my glutes. Three, I don't want my torso moving around. Four, and I'm gonna focus on my biceps here. Five, six, shift your body weight to your heels. Seven, eight, we're gonna get through this and then after that we're moving on to triceps and we're almost done, but not quite. This is 10, five more each way with good control. If you find that your shoulder's shifting around a lot, go to a lighter weight. Three more each way. Two, and one more each way. All right, okay, we are done with biceps. Moving on to triceps. We're using a single weight or two lighter free weights if you wanted to for an overhead tricep extension, which would look like so. Or you can use a single heavier weight. 
Again, we're in a narrow stance. Knees are not locked. And we're gonna hug our head with our elbows here as we get ready for overhead tricep extension. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale as you raise. Nine. Make sure the knees are soft so you're not arching your back. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Carefully bring that weight down. We are going to do another exercise for triceps. And this is a straight arm kickback. So a lot of times we're used to doing kickbacks like so. This one, we're gonna take straight arms back and pause. So let's get into a staggered stance. Hinge forward at the waist slightly. Tuck your shoulder blades in your back pockets, and here we go. One, two, so I'm only bringing the weights back down here. Three, no need to come way up in front of you. Five, six, seven, belly button towards the spine. Eight, nine, 10. Let's get five more, actively tighten the back of the arms as you extend back. Two, three, four, and five. Good, straight arm kick back. Okay, our last move of the day is a side to side squat. Holding the weight to do so, you do not have to hold the weight, especially if you're tired at this point. But if you are, we're gonna hold one end, Keep it in close to your body. Always return back to this narrow, neutral position with your feet. 10 each side, and then we will call it a day. Here we go, to your right. One, stop to squeeze the glutes in the middle. Two, three, four. So I'm going to 20, five, six, Seven, bending both knees in that squat. Eight, nine, ten. Let's get our last ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, one more here, and set that weight down. That concludes our workout for now. Pause the video, take a break, towel off, grab a drink, and then repeat that one or two more times the entire cycle. Again, a slow moving workout, but I guarantee you, you just burned a lot of calories and built a lot of muscle. So hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.